Hello, I'm David Chasson with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news that disappointing economic data from China led to risk assets starting the week on the back foot. Growth in the world's second biggest economy slowed to 7.7% in the first quarter, down from 7.9% the previous quarter, and well below the 8% consensus estimate. The Chinese government warned that this is unlikely to be a blip, and the double-digit growth rates seen over the past 30 years are probably a thing of the past. If true, this will have an impact on both developed and emerging economies. The worst performing currency overnight was the Australian dollar, with our currency not far behind. And gold continues a terrible price fall. It closed in London at 1395 US dollars an ounce and is trading in New York currently at just $1,350 an ounce. That's $1,600 New Zealand dollars an ounce and another 8% drop on one day. It's a full blown route. Silver is no better, losing almost 20% in a week. The Dow is down in midday trades, shedding more than 1%. Copper fell to its lowest level in 18 months, and aluminium fell to a three and a half year low. Oil was weak too. Meanwhile in Europe, Greece has finally clinched a deal with its troika of lenders. Apparently 15,000 civil servants will be laid off by the end of next year to be replaced by an equivalent number of young people. It is a bold move to refresh a dysfunctional system. Locally, the mighty River Power share offer is now open. And the Kiwi dollar starts today at 84.3 US cents, down almost a cent and a half on the day, 81.5 Aussie cents, the Japanese yen has risen to 82, and our TWI is at 77.6. I'm David Chaston, and that was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.